Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find the equation of the parabola with its axis parallel to y-axis and passes through the points 1, 3, minus 2, 8 and 3, minus 1. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is equation of the parabola parallel to y-axis is of the form x minus alpha whole square is equal to 4a into y minus beta the whole. So this is the parabola with its axis parallel to y-axis and the coordinates of its vertex are alpha beta and the coordinates of its focus are alpha and beta plus a. Now this implies x square plus alpha square minus 2x alpha is equal to 4ay minus 4a beta which further implies 4ay is equal to x square plus alpha square minus 2x alpha plus 4a beta. Now dividing through x by 4a this implies y is equal to x square by 4a minus 2x alpha by 4a plus 4a beta plus alpha square whole upon 4a. This further implies y is equal to 1 by 4a into x square minus alpha by 2a into x plus 4a beta plus alpha square whole upon 4a. Which further implies y is equal to, now putting this factor as a, it will be ax square. And putting this factor as b, it will be plus bx. And this as c, it will be plus c. So y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are the constants whose value is discussed above. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question we have to find the equation of the parabola with its axis parallel to y-axis and passing through the points 1, 3, minus 2, 8 and 3, minus 1. Now using this result, which is given in the key idea, the equation of the parabola parallel to y-axis is y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Now let us name this as equation number 1. Now given that the parabola passes through the points one three minus two eight and three minus one. Therefore substituting these values in equation number one we get first of all we will substitute x is equal to 1 and 
and y is equal to 3 in equation number 1. So it will become 3 is equal to a plus b plus c. Now substituting x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 8 in equation number 1. We get 8 is equal to ax square will become a into minus 2 square which will be 4a and b into minus 2 will be minus 2b plus c and now substituting x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus 1 in this equation it will become minus 1 is equal to ax square will become a into 3 square which will be 9a plus b into x will be b into 3 will be plus 3b plus c. Now let us name this as equation number 2, 3 and 4. And now we will solve these three equations. From equation number 2, we get c is equal to 3 minus a minus b. Now substituting c is equal to 3 minus a minus b in equation number 3, we get a is equal to 4a minus 2b plus 3 minus a minus b which implies a minus 3 is equal to 4a minus a will be 3a minus 2b minus b will be minus 3b which further gives 5 is equal to 3a minus 3b Now let us claim this as equation number 5. Now substituting c is equal to 3 minus a minus b in equation number 4 that is this equation we get minus 1 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus 3 minus a minus b which implies minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 9a minus a will be 8a plus 3b minus b will be plus 2b which further implies minus 4 is equal to 8a plus 2b which gives Minus 2 is equal to 4a plus b. And let this be equation number 6. From equation number 6, we get b is equal to minus 2 minus 4a. Now substituting b is equal to minus 2 minus 4a. In equation number 5, we get, now this is equation number 5. So substituting this value in equation number 5, it will be 5 is equal to 3a minus 3 into minus 2 minus 4 in the whole. Which further implies 5 is equal to 3a plus 6 plus 12a which implies 5 minus 6 is equal to 3a plus 12a which is 15a which further gives minus 1 is equal to 15a and this implies a is equal to minus 1 by 15. Now putting a is equal to minus 1 by 15 in b is equal to minus 2 minus 4a we get 
b is equal to minus 2 minus 4 into minus 1 by 15 the whole. Which implies b is equal to minus 2 plus 4 by 15 which on solving gives b is equal to minus 26 by 15. Now we have a is equal to minus 1 by 15 and b is equal to minus 26 by 15. Also from equation number 2 we have c is equal to 3 minus a minus b. Therefore putting the values of a and b in c is equal to 3 minus a minus b we get c is equal to 3 minus of minus 1 by 50 minus of minus 26 by 15 which implies c is equal to 3 plus 1 by 15 plus 26 by 15 which further gives c is equal to 45 plus 1 plus 26 whole upon 15 which is equal to 72 by 15 which is equal to 24 by 5. Now this is equation number 1. Now substituting the values of a, b and c in 1 we get y is equal to minus 1 by 15 into x square minus 26 by 15 into x plus 24 by 5 which further implies 50y is equal to minus x square minus 26x plus 72 which implies 15y plus x square plus 26x minus 72 is equal to 0. So this is the required equation of parabola. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.